Hello, my fellow gamers, UltraGamer64 here, and today I've got a brand new episode of Fury for you guys. In the last episode, we defeated the third boss, had a little bit of trouble, but we were able to get past him, and then we moved on and met my favorite boss in the entire game, Fish Lips, as I call him, but he is the fourth boss, so let's get into it. Um, at the start of the fight, he is insanely easy. Like, you guys will see, I will lose no health on this guy. Um, the, the gameplay is pre-recorded, the audio is recorded after the gameplay, that's why, um, it'll seem like it's not matching up, but it is matched up, I'm watching the game as I'm talking, so, we're all good there, but, um, this guy has a very wide range of, array of attacks, and he uses his speed for evil, like, this guy is one of the fastest bosses in the game, if not the fastest boss, so be sure to dodge all of his attacks because they will hurt and they will hit fast, and this guy really relies a lot on parrying, so make sure you're good at parrying for this fight, when, and if you're not, um, go back to maybe the first boss and just practice parrying over and over and you should be fine This guy does a lot of moves where you can parry and it's a great opportunity to get some um, Very easy health. So with this attack he will shoot a beam that will split into three rotating balls Be careful because when they go around you you have to remember that they are gonna come back and they could possibly hit you in the back so be very cautious of those plasma balls because they will hurt if you get hit by them. They just do a simple twist pattern as you guys just guys just saw. And then, pretty simple. When he does this stuff, they will again twist and come back to him. So be very careful of that. And be sure to not touch the lines that the plasma balls leave because those will hurt you as well. So just be very cautious of this boss. He sends out a lot of stuff at one time to try and hurt you but the attacks are not really that hard to dodge he just relies more on quantity more than quality so that's something that you need to watch out for but he's not a terribly hard boss as you can see i'm literally having no problem with him um pretty much the only time when this boss gets insanely hard is the end which by the end of this video i do come up with a way that um kind of counters him very well so when we get to that i will show you guys and we will be all good so let's continue on with this fight um let's see anything else i can say about this guy well he is my favorite boss i love his color scheme and i love his voice his voice is really really awesome and i just love the design like i've always been a person that enjoys like aqua creatures and aqua characters like aquatic uh, bosses or aquatic creatures or aquatic characters just for some reason I've always had a fun um, I don't know just thing to do with aquatic creatures and this guy I really enjoy because he has like the costume of a scuba diver he has harpoons as knives and as his fighting weapon attached to his fist. So, I just find this guy to be a really cool boss fight. And his attacks are really cool. They're neat, like, he's on screen. And the boss is just a really unique boss compared to the other guys. Um, as far as I know, every other boss is either on land or in the sky. So, this is really the only water boss. And he really stands out for using the water to his advantage, even though, I mean, he's not supposed to win, even though, you know, some people will lose against him. But I just like how he uses the water to his advantage. It's a very cool and unique system. So, here we are. We're in the next parry. Or no, the next showdown, I guess. What did I call that pillar up there? Um, crap, I'm trying to remember. Duel, I guess? Yeah, duel. Now he's down to three lives. Very, very simple so far, as you guys have seen. I barely lost any lives. Or I barely lost any life. I haven't lost a single life yet. Um, this is a very easy attack to dodge. He basically just sends out a stream and then splits into a bunch. But just as long as you're in between one of them, he's not going to touch you. Um, this boss, like I said, does more qual quantity than quality. So, if you're just, like, dodging him properly, then he will not hit you. Do not worry about that. 
Um, should be doing a certain attack soon. Yep, this attack. When he splits into five or six like this, um, make sure you charge up a shot to take out one of them. When you take out one of them, it'll make the uh, boss fight that that much easier. Um, just so you don't have one extra guy to worry about. But these guys do not have a full health bar any or anything. I think it takes like one slash to kill them and maybe a few shots to kill them if you're either shooting or slashing. So don't really be threatened by those guys. They're not that hard. So um, now we're starting to get into the harder part of Fishlet boss fight. It's not terribly hard, but it does start to get harder. It starts to hit better and kind of go harder on you, you know? So be very cautious of him getting faster and his extending combos, as you can see. He's doing like two hits and an energy move, and then maybe four energy moves in a row. So just always be sure to be cautious of Fish Lips, because he is dangerous if he gets mad and if he gets the upper hand on you. So this attack is very, very simple to dodge. Like these energy blasts, unless you go near them, they will not touch you. So basically what he does is shoots out two energy balls which split into four, and they just pour around in the water. Very simple to dodge, and if you can do that like I just did, um, you can get behind him and basically get a free four hit combo in on him and take a good chunk of his health. So this stage of fish lift is very, very simple and easy. As you can see, his doppelgangers do the same thing as well. That time I was able to get in two charge shots and kill two enemies immediately. So that was a very, very good tactic to use there. Um, be sure to use that tactic, guys. Or or um, slash him, whatever you want. I just prefer shooting. And when he's in the middle like that, you can actually charge up your slash with your sword and then do like a special combo, which I think I do later in the video. I'm not quite sure. But that'll take a good chunk of health as well if you're able to, like, charge shot him or charge slash him. Or... Um, the boss fight's almost over now, so we're getting to the end. As you can see, I'm literally having no problem with this boss. It's like slicing, a butter with a... slicing butter with a warm knife. I mean, this boss is very, very simple and should not give you any trouble at all. I think even the first time I fought this guy, it only took me, like, two tries. It takes me two tries in this video, too. I actually die at some point. Not exactly sure when. I think it's on the... Yeah, it's on this part. I end up dying, so that's kind of a shame. But whatever. We'll be alright. So what he does for his final life, he will create a barrier with um, the energy shot, and he will basically shoot all these little orange bugs with the with green energy moving towards you. Now he is going to split the field up into sections, so be very careful to not hit any of those barriers, or else you will take a good chunk of damage, which I believe is like two hits or one hit, and then he'll start doing these energy shots. What I, wish, what I would suggest is being over at the far end of the square and just dodging, just tapping the X button as quickly as you can so you don't charge out a dodge because if you charge out you're going to likely run into a barrier and you're going to lose life incredibly fast because you will just pretty much be boggled and think oh no what happened i hit one of the barriers so just get to the side of a square and just tap the x button just a little tap will do you uh, because I, I end up showing it later once I get to this section again. But I do end up dying. I end up losing all my lives, which is not intended. I did not mean to do that. But I forgot um, Fish Lip's final attack for this. And I forgot how to properly counter that. But I'll show it later. Once we get back to it, I will explain more on what I mean by being at the far end of the players. But this is one of the most brutal final... Um, stages for like a boss's life that I can think of really um, very very difficult to deal with very tricky and you've got to be like lightning fast on your toes like insanely fast to be able to dodge his little like energy wave or whatever you call it yeah you guys got to be very very cautious of that and make sure you dodge it to the best of your ability because those things hurt 
especially with the barriers blocking you and making squares to lock you in. I mean, that's gonna hurt. So here I almost get it, but I kind of freak out and go a little fast and just kind of mess up here and there. And I do not end up winning. I end up losing. But I end up cutting back to this part, and we end up taking out the, out the boss. This there we go, I died. And I'm road. gonna Remember skip out, for you out to there. the final boss again. Or, well, the final section of this boss. We just gotta go back there. And here we go at some point. There we go, I'm pausing. Oh, here we go on the final stage again of this boss. Literally all you have to do just shoot the orange balls, dodge the wave energy, and you'll be perfectly fine. Once you create the barriers, stand at the far side of the cube, and just slightly tap the X box, but you just need a little tap. That's all you need to dodge these um, energy waves and to not get hit by the barriers. Be aware of this, okay? Okay. See, just like this, be at the edge of the square and dodge inside of it. Don't try to dodge in between the lines. Don't try to get into other boxes. Just stay put and you'll be fine. Or you should be fine, at least. And don't get hit like that, like, tons of times. See, here I kind of messed it up because I didn't realize that he was attacking. And I tried to attack him first, but it's okay. I... I'm pretty sure I get it this next try. Um, I end up parrying him and I hit him. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Creates his um, barrier, shoots the energy shots, all that good stuff. So now I'm pretty sure, I'm like almost 99% sure that all my viewers are back in school if you guys have school. How are you liking it so far? Leave me a comment. Um, I recently started it in school and I'm loving it so far. It's pretty awesome. Um, I get to work with computers and different technology like that. At the moment, we are building our computers from scratch. Um, today we just put in the, oh, what was it? The motherboard, um, the video, the video card, uh, what was the other thing that we put in? We also put in the memory. So tell me guys, tell me down below what you guys are thinking of school so far. And if you guys are in school, I would really like to know. Do I have any like graduated seniors in my audience at all? Or any seniors at all? I'm kinda wondering that at high school. Huh, that'd be kinda will cool if I did. Share his fate? But anyways, Fishlip is dead, an and he floats term. to the bottom of the pond, lake, pool Hope thingy, comes from and is never to places. be seen again as we're getting talked to by Bunny Man. So now we get to move on to the fifth boss, I think, yeah. I thought yeah, about it should it be the fifth. so long. Um, we just gotta walk there, the so I gotta find something to talk hand. about for about... What about my world? Four or five minutes, I'd say. Why should I think their it's five minutes. Be more valuable than mine. So, what can we talk about? I don't know. I made my it's decision. It's kind of weird. I'm not used I to this because I was just myself. playing the PS4 and I realized that I needed a Fury video, and my family was Whatever around, so it's cost. like you know what? I'm not gonna commentate in front of them. I'm not gonna disturb them or anything. So I just kind of decided to play the game, and um do the voiceover later, which I'm doing now. So, it's kind of weird not being able to think about anything whatsoever to talk about. Oh, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Have you ever been so tired you feel like you're gonna pass out? That was me today. Um, I don't know why, but I was extremely tired. I went to bed at like 11.30 too. Um, extremely tired, I ended up sleeping through lunch. And my lunch is only like 26 minutes. Almost a half hour, but not quite, just at the barrier. But I ended up sleeping for like 26 minutes, and I disturbed a group of people that wanted to sit at a table. I know, this is hard, and they couldn't. but when <laughs> I am struggling to keep faith, oh, I think crap. about the what beauty the of situation? the world beyond. I fell asleep, and I remember waking up for a split it second, keeps me focused. and I remember hearing, it keeps who the heck going. is this guy? And I know they're talking about me, because at the school I'm at, I don't know anybody at my lunch period, so... I just kind of sat down and fell asleep, and then all of a sudden I hear, who the heck is this guy? And 
I just kind of stayed still, you act like captured, I was asleep, and nothing really prison, came of it, but it was kind of tortured. funny that I Finally potentially blocked a seat from someone's friend, are, for someone's friend guardians. or something. That was kind of funny. Top but I'm allowed, game I'm allowed to sleep killing I machines. To. Just waiting Lunch to has no rules. Back in. Always remember that, guys. Lunch How has that no rules. <laughs> That's not true. Lunch has some rules, but most of them don't really matter. You can they sleep, you play already, a Game Boy, they um, DS, Believe play on your phone, play on a tablet, whatever you want. Draw, blinking. whatever your hobby Second best would be. Just don't play football back in or, chains. um, crap, what is it? Basketball or any sport in the cafeteria, that wouldn't be good. No one wants to watch you play sports at lunch. Can you We're almost it? to the boss. Anger. We're almost Good. to the next boss. Focus on reach it. him already. Let it grow. This guy needs to learn to walk faster. Our character, like, really needs to walk faster. He needs to run or something. All he does is walk slowly. Let me tell you some more about and be a total what this crazy one did fighting, to you. You need to know. Uh, master. Then there'll be no stopping everything. you. He, he does is that the too. one who got you here in the first place. He All right, is the almost one there. who brought you down. He led we'll the men be there who shortly. You. Hundreds of them against you. Bunny man, can't was you just fair? teleport us? You seem to teleport very well. You seem to have that skill down pat. So just teleport us. The bunny man is being extremely rude to us. So bunny man, say? just teleport us, dude. Eye, See, look at that. He teleports. Time to take your revenge. You always catch him teleporting, but yet he'll never actually teleport you to the location that you want to be at. I mean, what kind of friend is he? He breaks us out of prison and then he can't teleport us to the other bosses? The jailer is we gotta the key. walk? Kill him. But as you guys can free. see, we are approaching a dome, and this is home to a decently difficult boss. It's not the hardest, not the easiest, it's just kind of one of those in-between bosses, which I really enjoyed this boss. It takes a lot to take him down. Like, you've got to hit him a crap ton before he goes down for the first duel, even. But it's a pretty good fight. And... I really like the way that this character is set up. Like, you have, he has a son right there. That's his son. And you kind of feel bad when you kill this boss because essentially you are taking a father no away fear. from his kid. And that is, knows like, no majorly courage. messed up. I take mine from you. But, um... We are what we fight for. Yeah, majorly messed up. But, yeah, let's listen to him talk to his son real quick. And then he comes to encounter us. He's very confident, this boss, but sadly we do have to kill him even if I he does have a son. And we I gotta see kill nothing. him because if we don't, he's taking us back to the very beginning. Death. And we can't have that. You are alone. Even though everyone's dead. I am fighting for something yeah, much greater. Yeah, everyone else is this. dead, so what does it matter if we get taken back? Can you imagine the but strength anyways, that gives me? The standoff. I doubt it. And so your fight. Ends and here. we are ready for our fight. Bring it on, buddy. I We're gonna get to one quick once hit once in on him. And, so and then, sadly, I've got to end the episode, guys. If you enjoyed this video, then please be sure to leave a giant like. And remember to keep on gaming. Stay amazing. And I will see you guys next time.